Today we're doing a wheel back test on NVIDIA. It'll start off in put mode and sell puts until it gets assigned or put upon, and then it'll toggle over to start selling calls until it gets called away, and then it'll switch back to selling puts until it gets put on, and then switch back to calls until it gets called away until the back test is over. And we'll run 125 back tests and see what happens. So let's get started. All right, NVIDIA up first. As you can see here on StockSplitHistory.com, NVIDIA split back in July of 2021. So for this back test, we'll avoid that and we'll test from January of 2016 through December of 2020, which is a good five year set. Here's NVIDIA stock during that period. It started about eight and finished at about 130. So that's about a 16 bagger. So congrats if you owned it. So here's one uh, back test for NVIDIA over that time period. We'll do uh, several combinations of uh, put and call delta and DTE. And we'll look at an aggregate chart of all those. But first I wanted to show you this one example. So this one's about a 30 DTE with a put delta of minus 0.4 and a call delta of 0.15. So we'll get to vary three variables. Uh, that'll be fun. The yellow line is the underlying stock, how it did over this time frame. Uh, magenta is the puts, so you can see the puts in the wheel strategy here. And then the blue are the call options. So as you can see, puts, uh, the magenta lines toggle to blue when the underlying goes down. Like see this one toggled to blue for this leg and then turned into a call for a couple legs. And then calls turn into puts when the underlying goes up, like it called away. Let's zoom in on the pandemic and see what happens. So this was unlucky in that you had a put going during this down phase and it got killed. And then you switched over to a call and it shot back up and it got killed. <laughs> so, and then you uh, were in put mode for several months and you made some money. But see, the problem with the wheel strategy on a stock like NVIDIA is it's just has no chance of keeping up with the underlying stock. And you only own the, uh, the stock when you're doing call options and it's going up so fast, you're bound to get called away. And your puts, when you're selling puts, you're not making near as much money as if you own the underlying stock. So you may have noticed the, the Yahoo chart only went up to 130, uh, but the, uh, the option chart was way at like plus 500. And that's just because the Yahoo chart was already normalizing for the four to one stock split. But, uh, the back test was pre-stock split. So here's a chart showing the results of 125 back tests on NVIDIA, where we vary the, the put delta, the call delta, and the days to expiration. Uh, the yellow and red lines at the bottom indicate the deltas. The yellow is the call deltas, and the uh, red is the put deltas. And then the blue bars above them are the Profit loss per day. So the first thing to notice about this chart is uh, there's no losers. Every combination at least made a tiny bit of money. And the one at the very far right, interestingly, it made the most. And it was put delta of minus 0.4 and a call delta of 0.3. And the worst performing one was this one right here in the middle made a tiny bit, and it was call delta of 0.3 and a put delta of minus 0.2. That's just probably random dumb luck, not significant. Another thing I notice is, so like the higher put delta, these four seem to do really good with high days to expiration, like these two bunches and these two bunches, but not so good if the DTE was short term, like one week, or two weeks. So that's interesting. Maybe there's some type of uh, correlation between put delta and uh, DTE. 
Hope you enjoyed today's uh, wheel back testing episode. Please uh, like and subscribe if you want more content like this. Um, next up, I'm going to revisit uh, the Boeing put back test that I did in episode two. I want to uh, further explore the long DTEs and uh, why they were so different from the other DTEs. I'm going to uh, change the way I do modes. I'm going to have chain mode, I'm going to have stepped mode, and I'm going to have change the way dense mode works. And uh, I'll explain all that in, in the episode. Uh, feel free to uh, comment, request features, request back tests, or just say anything on your mind. And finally, I wanted to mention I've got a website now. It's backtester.pythonanywhere.com. Go take a look, and that's it.